I'm Michelle Wright with the CalisforsCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Hello on a Friday afternoon. We're going to talk about the paper trimmer and we're going to talk about the Christmas time is here suite. So I'm here to answer some questions. So let me find myself here real quick and hopefully some people will jump on and ask some questions. So I see myself. I am there. So that's a good sign. Hi Robin, Catherine. How are you guys? Nice to see you guys today too. I have no makeup on. I ran to the post office and everyone who placed an order with me that received a pack of cards, those have left the building. Elvis has left the building. So, hi Linda. Uh, yeah, so if you earned a pack of those cars for me today, they're headed your way. I wanted to jump on here today and uh, talk about the new paper trimmer and also uh, about the new Christmas Time is Here suite. Tim is doing good. I forgot to say anything about him and I went back and read comments and then didn't get to go back and answer any yet. Uh, Tim is doing good. He's overworking on the tractor. He, I had to go over and help him with something and then came back and yeah, it didn't work like he wanted to. And he's like, I need you. I'm like, I, I cannot come back over there right now. This girl is trying to do her job over here. You guys know how it is with those husbands. But anyway, I'm here to talk to you about the paper trimmer today and the Christmas time is here sweet. You guys know me and hopefully you follow me because you know I'm all about keeping it real. So the paper trimmer is available today for customers to order and it's $25. I've got the number and I'm going to flip you down here in a minute and I'll let you write that number down. I wanted to get the paper trimmer in my hand and I wanted to play with it before I gave any information out about it because I'm all about keeping it real. So with that being said, I'm not comparing this paper trimmer to the paper trimmer that we had before because we can't get that paper trimmer and we can't get those blades. So it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter what that trimmer did or didn't do. It's a thing of the past. I mean, Personally, I would love to get into my jeans from when I was 18 years old, but that's not happening either because that's a thing of the past. So it doesn't do any good to dwell on it. So I wanted you to know what I thought about the paper trimmer, how the paper trimmer works, and my likes on it, the things that I have to get used to on it, and I want to answer questions. That's what I'm all about today. If you have a question, I want you to answer it. I may not have the answer, but I'm going to be truthful to you with the information that I have and my take on it, okay? And then you guys can digest that information and decide what you would like to do, all right? I hope all that makes sense. Hello, everybody that's jumped on. So with that all being said, let's flip you down. I'm going to make sure you're focused. I did get on today. Facebook now has given me a Facebook business page, different, whole different setup. It's so weird. I can still do the other, but with this new. So I logged on today on Facebook Live through that. And y'all let me know how that looks while I'm setting you up here. Am I clear? Am I not clear? It could get worse. I don't know. So let's just get this all hooked up here, set up. Hi, everybody that's jumped on. We're going to talk paper trimmers. Okay, hang on. I got to get this cord out of my way. So this is the order number for the paper trimmer, 152392. Okay, $25. First and foremost, let me tell you, and I've got my root beer over here. $25 for the paper trimmer, in my opinion, is a fabulous price. I'm going to say that right off. When we were waiting just like you to find out how much the paper trimmer was, we did not know how much it was going to be selling for. Now I'm going to pull you up just a little bit 
so you can see more of this. All right. And I've got my phone right in front of me. And even though there's a delay, please feel free to ask questions. All right. So right off the bat, let me say I have been cutting with the paper trimmer now for a month. And you know I do a lot of cards. And it cuts beautifully. All right. I will tell you, I've just got a piece of scrap here. I'm just going to cut a one inch piece and it cuts beautifully. All right. Now, what I like about the way this one cuts is this track that this glides on, both the cutting blade and the scoring blade, is narrower than what I am accustomed to in the past. And I love that because this farm girl's got beefy hands. And sometimes when I'm pushing my paper up to cut it, it may have just gone off a little to the left or a little to the right, especially at the end of a cut, okay? So at the end of a cut, and you see how I'm pushing that down even though it's in the middle of this cardstock? I would have never done that before because I would have been afraid I would have had a tiny little sliver. That is not an issue with this trimmer, okay? Not an issue at all. So I love that, okay? That's one thing. Let me pull this around here. This paper trimmer has a little small area right here towards the bottom. There's a little notch there. And that's how you actually pull this up, the blade up and out and let me put this up here this blade see how deep that blade is Let's see if that makes it better or worse that is one nice blade there so love love that and this thing is still going strong so if you'll notice you've got two grooves you've got a groove on this side and a groove on this side this runs down the track so when you find your little slot down here, which you can see it, you're going to want to push your, and it's hard for me to see with my, there's just one little area, okay? So once you push that in and seat it, both edges should glide in the track. Same thing with the scoring blade. Let me pull it out. No, I can't see because my thing is, there we go. The scoring blade is different than the scoring blade in the past. This scoring blade, do you see how this is a swivel? So it glides and it is a smooth score. It does not tear the regular designer series paper. If you were beefy like me, you might get a little too aggressive with that and it might go too deep. This is not the problem. Let's turn this. I want you to be able to see, but I don't want you glare the glare going on you either. So this glides very, very smoothly. I don't know what's better, worse, up, down, around, over. All right. So hands down, absolutely love the scoring tool. And you can put the scoring blade at the top or the bottom, the scoring tool, and your blade. In either direction. Some people want their scoring thing down here, some want it up there. Now let's talk about some of the things that were different for me, and I'm not going to lie, they were a challenge for me. I'm used to grabbing this and just popping it up, just popping it up, popping it up. Put my paper in there, pop it up. Well, Mine, when it first came, was pretty tight. There's a couple of notches. There's a notch here, and then there's a notch here that this sets in to keep it locked and secure, all right? Let me tell you why that's there. When you take a piece of cardstock, let's look at this piece here. What do we got here? three quarters of an inch, okay? 
I can take this three quarters of an inch cardstock and I can go down here to one inch. If I can get it straight, if I hold my mouth right. Actually, let's go over here. I want to show you what this will do. Put my fingers here because it's snug enough. Look how perfectly straight that is. That's why that's doing that. Now, I will tell you that the more I've used it, it has loosened up, and I figured that would happen. Like anything else, there's a learning curve. And so because I used to always grab my trimmer and flip this open, well, I trained myself because mine was so tight that because I go up and then I come down naturally with my hand and I just would put my thumb under this and flip it right open, flips right open. You can do the same thing with the top. Okay, you can grab that lip at the top. Either or works just fine. And then as time has gone by, it's gotten looser. All right. So that was a learning curve for me. In the beginning, I was like wanting to scratch someone's eyes out. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. But now I don't even think about it. It's like closing your garage door. All right. So know that. It has both inches and metric measurements at the top, at the middle, and at the bottom. Okay. That's great for people who want to create in both of those measurements because some PDFs from different countries come in metric. So that's very helpful to those who have received PDFs in both. Personally, I create and design my own PDFs in my own cards, so I just use the inches. So I'm not a fan of the metric, but I have worked with the board enough, the, the uh, trimmer enough now that it's not influencing me that much. In the beginning, it did because you have all these little lines up here that I'm not using. If you, if you do use them, that's fabulous. So I use the inches and then it is beautiful though because if you want to cut down, let me show you here real quick. If you wanted to cut down a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, you just get an example here. Well, we've got a lip here now. There's a lip. There's actually a small lip on the right side and a larger lip on the left side. And this lip is here because when you it, grab this arm and pull it out, that is your top lip. Okay? So that's what you're going to butt your paper up against. That's why that's there. So when you just close this, it doesn't recess. It's right there. It's wonderful for people who want to cut six by or 12 by 12 paper down to six because that's six inches exactly. When you hit that lip, that's six inches. Can you see that? So for that reason, it's perfect. I will tell you for me, I'm accustomed to, I cut my paper, and then I would always slide my paper to the side. Well, that's not happening now because it's going to hit that lip. So as time has gone by, I have become accustomed to now I cut my paper, and then I push it off this way. Instead of trying to pick it up off of this, I just push it off and grab it, okay? And it's funny because you do something so robotically that you don't think about it until you have to do something different. Well, you can teach an old dog new tricks, believe it or not. So that's another thing. Now, I will tell you that this does have a super, super fine film on it, clear film. It's a protective film, all right? That's there to protect it for shipping. I have left that on here. It doesn't affect anything and it's protecting the, the, the grid for me, even though it's not necessary. As I work with it more and more, it may eventually start coming up. And at that time, I will peel it off. It's like when you get your appliances, 
you know, they have that tiny thin protective film. That's what it is. So just know that if you see something coming off, that's designed to come off. That is a protective film. Okay. There's nothing wrong with your trimmer. You guys, if you have questions, start throwing them out there for me too, because there is a delay. So there is a hole at the top here where if you don't have room on your uh, craft station, you can actually hang it. If you have a pegboard or a place on the wall that you want to hang it, that's, that's what that's there for. Like I said, it locks automatically. Do I think that this paper trimmer is worth the $25? Absolutely. The cutting alone is so good and the blade is lasting so long, it excites me about the trimmer. Are there things about it that I've had to adjust the way I do things? Yes, they are. But in one month already, I don't even think about those things. And, and it's weird because I really, really thought it was going to throw me for a loop. But it just goes to show you, you learn new things. You don't even think about it. All right. So I'm looking to see if there's any questions. I don't see any questions. So today you can begin ordering the paper trimmer. That's the order number and it's $25, 152392. Hi, Cindy. So yeah, it's a great deal, great price. I recommend it. So I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna talk about the Christmas time suite real quick. And if you guys have paper trimmer questions, please, please, please just throw them up there, throw them in the comment. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer you best I can. So today, customers could start purchasing the Christmas time is here suite. The Christmas time is here sweet. Hopefully you saw it on my blog post and on Facebook. It consists of this stamp set, the Christmas Rose, which is two different types of stamps. This is a red cling stamp. These are the photopolymer stamps that fill the Christmas Rose stamp in, okay? So in the top, up in the eye, I have listed the trimmer, if you'd like to click on that and purchase that. I've also listed the suite. The suite is $112.50 and it includes everything I'm showing you today and a gold bracelet. I don't have the gold bracelet to show you. It's like a little bangle bracelet. But it comes with the Christmas Time is Here Specialty Designer Series paper. And let me show you this. And in case you're wondering why some of our paper is designer series paper and some of it is specialty designer series paper, specialty means it has foil on it or glitter on it or flock on it. There's something special about it and it tends to be a thicker paper as well. Now in this packet of paper, you're going to get three designs, four sheets of each. Now you see how this has got the gold foil on it on this side. Gorgeous. And then it's got complementary colors on the reverse side. Don't just think Christmas with this set. This set can be used for all kinds of creations. All right. Now, it also comes with the dies, and these are the roses dies. I've also listed the stamp set and the die bundle in the top, and I've listed just the stamp set, just the dies. So, look at that. The main die that cuts out the stamped image also cuts out this floral pattern on this designer series paper. So that's pretty cool. It's got other elements as well in the dies, along with two frames, 
a lattice work, some ornate. There's some more ornate work there. It's it's really, really pretty. Now it comes with the gold shimmer ribbon. Beautiful. I don't know how much that's going to show on camera. And last but not least, the gold glitter enamel dots. So let me show you. I've got posts coming up throughout this month with different cards that I've made with these. All right. So don't just think Christmas. This is a Christmas card. This is the one that was on my blog today. Now I'm going to turn this light back around and this one back around. Look how pretty that is. I embossed this with gold embossing powder, okay? Just the actual main stamp, okay? Another card that will be coming in the future is this one here. This one I chose not to do embossing. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I put Merry Christmas on the inside of that, but you could so, so easily, which, how gorgeous is that font? That is part of the stamp set. The May, this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love is part of the stamp set. But look at that. All I would have had to have done was change the greeting and that card would be perfect for lots of other occasions. Okay. So this card will be coming on a post later this month. I made a get well card with it. Look at that. Okay. That's a healing hug sentiment there. Still use the gorgeous paper, use the ribbon, use the gold uh, glitter enamel dots. So many ways to use this. And then I've got one more here that I was playing around with. I totally went a different color. I just used the stamp set. Went with yellows and blacks and purple. Thinking of you. See, I used the brick and mortar background. Don't even have anything on the inside of that one yet. But just so you can see many, many, many ways to use the stamp set. So I wanted you to see that, all that goodness. And I'm waiting. Does anybody, 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 anybody have any questions about the paper trimmer? Lay it on me. You're not going to hurt this girl's feelings. I am here to help you any way I can. So I'm watching. I'm watching to see. Can you guys even hear me? I know there's a delay, so I'm waiting just a few minutes. Some hearts, some thumbs up, some somethings, so I know you're still out there. <laughs> I don't see anything. Well, that's awesome. Maybe that means I, I explained it pretty good, Lucy. If you guys don't know what that means, then you're way too young. Explain it to me, Lucy. All right. I'm going to flip you guys up. Hang on. Hang on to your drawers. I got you up high now. Now you're going to be looking down at me. So I'm going to grab my phone, and I'm just going to wait just a couple more minutes to make sure that nobody has any questions that I'm missing. I'll go back and uh, watch all the comments, read all the comments as they come through. And if you have a question and I did not answer it, and I have the information. I will I will be monitoring these comments. I will be answering questions. Um, if I don't know the answer, I'm just going to flat tell you I don't have the answer. Some things are going to come with time. You know, we're going to learn more with time. But for right now, $25, the, I said the trimmer cuts wonderfully. I know Tim and I can spend that when we go to Sonic, which that's a sad thing, I know. You know, it's an investment. It's a tool. I think it's a great value. So, all right, I don't see any comments, so I'm not going to take up any more of your time today on this Friday. Just know that if you have a pack of cards coming from me, they got mail today, so uh, be watching your mailbox. I'm sending you hugs and kisses from the Scott Farm here in Oklahoma. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Thank you, Linda. And uh, I will see you Tuesday night when we're crafting until the cows come home. Holler if you have any questions. Bye, guys.